Hey kids, John here. I wanted to talk a little bit about how we name notes. And I'm not talking about A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. I'm talking about, as trumpet players, how we describe the note we're playing and where it sits in which register. Okay. When we're talking about notes, they're either going to be below the staff, in the staff, or above the staff. So how do we describe them so we're being accurate or correct or so that everybody understands what we're talking about? As a great friend of mine says, I don't have to be right, I just don't want to be wrong. So I'm going to examine how we can describe the notes that we're either playing or trying to play or talking about in trumpet register both high and low and not be wrong. Okay, so here we go. Down at the bottom of our instrument we have our F sharp. Now most people are going to call this a low F sharp. Well, we have to hold for a moment. Apparently in the 70s the International Trumpet Guild decided to start octaves at C's, which is understandable because that's where piano octave starts. And then you can kind of, sort of, line C's up with C4, C5, C6, describing the, the octave C on the piano. So if we are naming notes, this C right here is low C but it's the start of the low register. So what is this? Well, many people commonly call this low F sharp, low G, low G sharp, low A. They're really, if you're being picky about it, they're really not low. They're below the staff. So as my friend said, I don't want to be wrong. So for you not to be wrong, you don't have to be right, you can simply call the notes that are below the staff, starting with D all the way down, you can call them F sharp below the staff, G below the staff, G sharp below the staff, A below the staff, B flat below the staff, B below the staff. This is low C and you can call it low C. And you can call this low C sharp and you can call this low D. Or you can just use consistent language and say C below the staff, C sharp below the staff, and D below the staff. Now, the stuff that's in the staff is easy. E flat in the staff. Oh, wait. There's two of them. So now you have to say E flat bottom line. Now, as you can see on the staff, there's five lines and four spaces. And we count the bottom, it is from the bottom to the top. So this is the first one, all right? When you're talking about notes in the staff, you might as well describe them where they are. And this is E flat first line, E first line, F first space, F sharp first space, G second line, G sharp second line, A second space, a sharp would be second space. B flat, third line. B, third line. C, third space C. C sharp, same thing, third space. D, fourth line. So a D sharp would be the same thing. E flat is fourth space. E is fourth space. F, top line. F sharp, same thing, top line. G above the staff. It's sitting on top of the staff. So you can say G on top of the staff. G sharp, same thing. A, first leisure line, A. Leisure lines are those lines above the staff, just like leisure lines are the lines below the staff. So if you wanted to describe this F sharp below the staff, you can say three leisure lines below the staff. You can use leisure lines, but since it's simple enough to say below the staff, you can save a little time. But when you get above the staff, you may want to use leisure lines. A, first leisure line above the staff. B, on top of 
the first ledger line above the staff. So B flat and B sit on top of the first ledger line. And high C, we've made it to high C. This is known as high C. That is two ledger lines above the staff. Okay, here we go. High C, two ledger lines. So, this is high C, C sharp, high D, high D sharp, high E, high F, high F sharp. Okay, now, many players talk about this G, which is one, two, three, four ledger lines above the staff. Many players talk about that note as being double G. But when they say that, they're incorrect. Now, this is common language amongst trumpet players. That note is known to many, many trumpet players as double G, okay? But this note is not double G, and here's why. This is G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C. That's double C. Here's high C, okay? This is high C, and this is double C. So anything above high C is simply referred to as being high. So anything above this note is just a high note, not a double high note. You have to get to double C, and yes, there are notes above double C. Double C, double D, double E, double F, double G, whatever. Those notes are above double C. Not very many players play above this note. Okay? At least not melodically. All right, so what do we do here? All right, this is G above the staff, G sharp above the staff, A, right? But you have to call this, you have to call it what it is, G on top of the staff, A, one leisure line, B, on top of the first leisure line, high C, you can say that, high D, high E, high F, high G if you want, okay? But what I would do is once I got the high C, I'd start to say things like D above high C, E above high C, F, F sharp above high C, and G above high C, A above high C, and B above high C. Or here's double C, so this would be B below double C. You need to describe things so that everybody's on the same page. There's a lot of trumpet players that are going to say, you know, I can't get my double A to lock. And they're talking about that note. That's the note they're talking about. Even though they may be incorrect in the verbiage they're using, that's the note they're talking about. It's very common for trumpet players to start talking about doubles at high G. Very common. So, that's a way to not be wrong. You don't have to be exact or perfectly correct, but at least you're not wrong. And this is really the goal. When, when you're talking about communication, you want to be able to communicate the best, uh, and that is to gain clarity. That's to gain understanding. So seek first to understand what the other person is saying, because really the, the, the description of that of that one item isn't necessarily the full point of what's being discussed. So if you're on a Facebook trumpet group or a trumpet forum on the web uh, and people are talking about notes in different registers, if you're unclear exactly what they're talking about, simply ask the question, is that G above high C? Is that G below low C? And you'll get clarity. You can uh, simply move on. Once you have that clarity, you can move on. There's really no need for further discussion. It's basically the same thing as a friend of yours is telling a story about a restaurant that they went to. And uh, he is explaining something about this whole experience. And in the midst of this explanation, they say, and I was having a pancake. And somebody stops them and says, what? No, you were having a flapjack, right? 
All you want to do is understand what that is. And that's where the markers of low C, high C, ledger lines, first line of the staff, first space, those will clarify anything you're talking about. And people will absolutely understand where you are when you're describing what register you're in or how high or how low. So I hope this helps. Take it easy, kids. Till next time.